So an experiment to determine the young modulus of a wire, right? So aapke paas, for example, you have something like this. So you have a table here, right? And uh, you have here a G clamp. G clamp is that you put it on the table and it will fold it on the table. It will just go out. This is a G clamp, right? So here a wire will be and the wire will attach with the pulley and the pulley will be loaded with the load this is a load so you have here a ruler this this is a ruler that we have right and this wire will be a sticky tape and the sticky tape is going there is a pointer and a sticky tape and this pointer is going to move right when we will attach a load what's going to happen this point is going to move here so this thing here is I'll call this X and this is the extension of the wire that we have, okay. Uh, I'll call the length of the wire original length. That, but what you need for this experiment is you need original length of the wire. Is me up cross sectional area chahiye using a micrometer. You should also use a longer wire since it extends more than the shorter wire. Also, use a thinner wire since it extends more. Okay, you have formula hai. area. Aap kaise you know that pi r square. But you also know that that is pi d over 2 whole square. So this becomes pi d square over 4. Okay. Or uh, E is stress over strain. Stress is F over A. Strain is extension over original length. And we can use the formula F over A divided by X over N. And this becomes F over A. This L goes upstairs. We have this. मेरे पास F L A E है अगर इसको भी देखें तो area कम होगा तो तब भी extension बढ़ेगी और length ज़्यादा होगी तब भी extension बढ़ेगी ठीक है ये दोनों चीज़ें आपको बताती हैं कि length बढ़ाने से और area कम करने से extension बढ़ती है There are certain safety considerations that you should know and uh, the safety considerations are wear eye protection which we call goggles wear gloves be careful not to overload the wire अच्छा for accuracy of the of the experiment, diameter should be measured at several points along the wire and the average is found. There is another question that you should know how to determine young modulus from force extension graph. We have force on the y-axis and we have extension on the x-axis. And we have a straight line like this. Okay, this is what you So, if you have a wire view which is original length L, and area is A, how can you find the young modulus of this wire by using this expression, by using this data that you have. Test of the force over area, strain is extension over original length. We can write here F over A multiplied by L over X. This becomes F over X times L over A. This F over X is the gradient of this graph. So you should know that the young modulus here is given by the gradient of force extension graph times the length over area. If we have this formula, you can use the gradient of force extension graph from young modulus. If you have a stress strain graph, ho, to it's like this. So the gradient of stress strain graph will give you what? Young modulus. Behavior of a wire under a load. Okay? Let's say I have here the extension force graph. This wire will go straight. After that, this will bend a little bit and it's going to be like this. This point P is known as the limit of proportionality. E is the elastic limit. Just beyond point P is the elastic limit. This top point is the ultimate tensile strength of the wire. And this point D here is known as the breaking point. P or E is the point C is what? The point C is the maximum stress or maximum force where the wire has its greatest strength. In this point, the wire's stress will be the stronger. The wire's strength will be the stronger and the wire will start to break. When you have a load attached, the wire will be the point that the load will be the stronger and the wire will start to break. We sometimes call C is sometimes known as the ultimate tensile strength of the wire. 
ठीक है जी इट इज समटाइम्स नो द अल्टीमेट इंसाइड्स ऑफ द वायर बियॉन्ड सी व्हाट हैपेंस द वायर नैरोस मतलब आप खुद देखेंगे तो आपने कभी नोटिस नहीं किया बहुत ज्यादा लोड लगा देते हैं तो चीजें टूट टूट जाती हैं रस्सी को भी देखें तो रस्सी भी टूटना शुरू हो जाती है ये वही चीज हो रही है कि उसने मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेंथ बर्दाश्त कर ली है अब वो टूटना शुरू हो जाएगी द वायर नैरोस फॉर्मिंग नेक्स इसको हम कहते हैं नेकिंग लेकिन वैसे मैं बता रहा हूं फॉर्मिंग नेक्स एंड एट डी द वायर ब्रेक्स डी इज द पॉइंट वेयर द वायर विल ब्रेक ठीक है यू शुड नो दैट दैट मटेरियल्स अंडर गो प्लास्टिक डिफॉर्मेशन सो मटेरियल्स दैट अंडर गो प्लास्टिक डिफॉर्मेशन बिफोर ब्रेकिंग आर सेट टू बी डक्टाइल राइट एंड मटीरियल्स सच एज ग्लास विच डू नॉट शो Plastic behavior are known as brittle graph of. So, ये जो मैंने आपको ऊपर बना के दिखाया है ये मेरे पास extension force graph है अगर force extension graph होता तो कैसा बनता वो इट वो लाइक दिस ठीक है दिस इज द पॉइंट सी दिस इज द ब्रेकिंग पॉइंट दिस इज पॉइंट ई दिस इज पॉइंट बी राइट वी हैव समथिंग लाइक दिस ग्राफ ऑफ डक्टाइल मटीरियल के बारे में बात करें तो इफ आई ड्रॉ अ स्ट्रेस ट्रेन ग्राफ स्ट्रेस इज इन पासकल strain is here like this the graph is going to look like this so i've already told you theek hai ye loading hai and this is unloading theek hai agar aap load kar rahe hain aur usko unload kar rahe hain kuch na kuch energy jo hai recover nahi hogi we'll see that if we have a brittle material brittle is something that can break easily brittle material ke liye you will see it's like this for rubber we would have something of this sort we have ये आप लोड कर रहे हो या अनलोड कर रहे हैं दिस इज लोडिंग एंड दिस इज अनलोडिंग राइट दिस इज स्ट्रेस एंड स्ट्रेन सो दिस इज द ग्राफ दैट यू विल सी ऑफ रबर स्ट्रेन एनर्जी और इलास्टिक पोटेंशियल लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपोर्टेंट थिंग सो यू शुड नो दैट व्हेन द ऑब्जेक्ट हैज इट्स शेप चेंज्ड व्हाट्स गोना हैपन इज दैट फोर्सेस आर एक्टिंग ऑन इट द ऑब्जेक्ट इज सेट टू बी स्ट्रेन्ड टेंशन हो रही है वर्क हैज टू बी डन टू कॉज द स्ट्रेन हमारे पास यहाँ पे दिस इज देंथ एल दैट वी हैव एंड वी हैव द लोड हेयर दिस इज द फोर्स दिस इज द एक्सटेंशन दैट वी हैव राइट सो इलास्टिक पोटेंशियल एनर्जी होती क्या है टॉक अबाउट दैट इलास्टिक पोटेंशियल एनर्जी विच वी कॉल स्ट्रेन एनर्जी इज द एनर्जी स्टोर इन अ बॉडी ड्यू टू चेंज in its shape provided that the limit of proportionality is not exceeded theek hai aap string spring ko ya kisi elastic band ko is tarah karenge usko chhodenge to energy hogi uske andar arrow bow and arrow ko is tarah karte hain to jab usko chhodte hain object ko to energy hoti hai to udhar sab wo elastic potential energy se fir kinetic energy mein convert hoti hai theek hai agar aapke paas ye force extension graph hai like this and we have something like this the area under the force extension graph is going to give you what Work done is energy. Work done can also be written as force into distance. अच्छा यहाँ पे force variable है. तो हम average force लेंगे. ये zero थी force ये f पे चली गई. तो हम average force लेंगे. Which is zero plus f divided by two. Zero से start हुई f तक गई है. Into d. So this becomes half f d is x, right? So this becomes half f x. Area is area of this triangle is half into base into height, that is f x. So remember that the strain energy or elastic potential energy is given by the area under the force extension graph, provided that the limit of proportionality is not exceeded. Till then we can find the strain energy. उसके बाद total work done आ जाता है. Half f x. ठीक है. and since you know that it f is equal to kx so hum f is equal to kx and energy can be written as half kx i have substituted f is equal to kx here into x this is half kx square 